Hey guys, I realized that I hadn't done a uh, finished video for the Tyranids. Uh, I wanted to show them all done and based and put together and painted and everything. Uh, so this is going to be my finished video. I'm going to do a couple uh, close-ups on some of the models. I don't have the world's best camera, but I think that I'll be able to get the idea across with some of them. Uh, as you can see, it consists mostly of Gene Steelers. Uh, it's three units of Gene Steelers with Broodlords. Two of them have 10, one of them has 11, and they have all the upgrades. Uh, the red guys in the back there next to the Mycetic Spore are the Yimgarl Gene Stealers. There's eight of them. And then there's the Doom of Mama and Tide being proxied by a Zoanthrope. I actually made a uh, conversion for the Doom, but, and I will be using that later on when I finish it. And then I use a Warrior Prime, which is uh, this guy right here. Uh, all right, so let's get a little bit closer look at some of these models. Okay, these are the gene stealers you see before you. Um, I've got a pretty easy method of painting them where I just use uh, um, some simple colors. I highlight them with uh, a brighter version of that same color and pick out a couple details. I use a bedab black wash to add a little bit of 3D effect to it and it seems to come across pretty well. Uh, for my Broodlord conversions, I know I've shown these before, but I've never shown them all painted up. <clears throat> I'll get all three of them together for you. So as you can see, all three of them are there. They're quite a bit bigger than the other Steelers. Um, they look a lot different, so they stand out in the battlefield. I use the old Gene Steeler models, and I just add Warrior Rending Claws and Scything Talents from the Gene Steeler kit and uh, paint them in a similar color scheme. <clears throat> As you can see, I got these squad markings on uh, all the bases. That's helped me tell the Gene Steelers apart when they get mixed up. And also, the local tournaments around here give you points if you um, add squad markings like that. Here's a good close-up of my Tyranid Prime. I like to equip him with Lash Up, Bone Sword, Scything Talons. Um, only because uh, he usually stays in reserve. He doesn't really fit into the army that well. But he's the cheapest HQ, so I had to take him. Um, he uses the close combat weaponry, because usually when he comes back from reserve, he will be able to take out a squad that's contesting an objective he might be coming on next to, or he can wreck a lightly armored vehicle. Um, he's actually really good at both of those jobs. I equip him also with adrenal glands, and uh, sometimes I use Regenerate depending on the points that I need. Although I know Regenerate's kind of a waste of time. It doesn't, doesn't hardly ever work. But when it does, it's actually pretty nice. Here you see the Doom of Mullen Tie Proxy. Um, this is a really simple paint scheme. I'm going to do my other zone throws like this too. And when I finish the Doom, I'm going to do something really special for him. Um, but this actually looks really nice. and. The yellow, it doesn't come across very well on the camera, at least not from what I can see right now. But the yellow is really, really bright at the very top of his um, head armor here. And in the right light, it looks a little bit like uh, a, a manga. And, you know, and I'm really into cartoons and comic books, so um, I really like the way that it came out. This little effect I did on the head here is just to break up that wide space. I don't like all that space right here, and it, it looks like just doing it one color would be really a waste of all that model. So I, I like to add a little bit of a design in there. And I'll be adding a similar design to this to the other Zonthropes as well. Uh, <clears throat> I know I've, sh I've shown this off lots of times. This is my Mycetic Spore. Um, made him out of plastic card, expanding foam, and as you can see here, a little Tyranid bit. Some green stuff. Um, makes the expanding foam look like it's squishing through there. Uh, the paint job I changed it a couple of times. I wasn't happy with it before, but I like this one. I, I made the outside look like it was charred and burnt. I got a little bit of like that lava effect painted in there. And then the top side wanted to look wet and gross, so there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, really high gloss on all the paint in here, so it looks really nasty. Um, in person, it comes through a lot better. <clears throat> and uh, I wanted it kind of looks like something that could contain weaponry inside of it. I usually equip them with cluster spines, so here's where the cluster spines would spit out of. And then all these little tentacles laying around the side, coming out of the sides of it. I call these like the ripper tentacles that it's armed with. Then, uh, 
These are my young girl jean stealers. Um, I give them a little bit different color scheme so they stand out a lot on the tabletop. I like the glowing green effect on their uh, the armor splits. And I used uh, pigments and washes to get this rusty old look on their bases. Uh, obviously these are the um, uh, what is that? Space Hulk Jean Steelers. That's why they have these cool bases. And I chose them because I really wanted them to be special and stand out on the battlefield. Um, and they actually kind of fit. Like, if you know how Jean Steeler rules work, you know that these guys kind of just pop up in a piece of terrain and uh, then they can move and run an assault out of that terrain, which is amazing, by the way. Um, but so this guy, you know, he's ripping out of the ground and I really like that. It makes sense. And the other guys are kind of diving down from scaffolding and. Um, some were like sneaking and so I mean it really really fits the model uh, it fits the rules I think these are my objective markers um, you can see really simple just a little thing that comes in the gene sealer box it's also got um, they also come in the uh, old battle from a crag box which is where I got that part for the my set explorer Yeah, this little part right here came from Battle from a Crag. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Let me uh, come back here and give you a look at the whole thing again. Yeah. Here's my trusty, dusty Tyranid Codex back there with the pages falling out and everything. Um, do a little pan for you here. Uh, it might look kind of small. This is about 1,250 points. I mean, it's by no means all the models that I have. I have a whole lot of models, and I just got a new Battle Force today. So that's even more that I, I have to do in paint. Um, this also is not all that I have painted. I have a lot more painted than this. But uh, this just represents the army that I most use. I really love Gene Steelers. I think they're the best unit in the Tyranid Codex. Um, I also really like the Death Leaper, and I've also made a conversion for him, which I'll be showing when I get that finished and painted. Um, if anybody has any requests to see how I do some of this stuff, um, how I paint my models or do my conversions, uh, go ahead and leave them. I, I would like I would like to know that people want to see them before I go through the trouble of making them. Uh, I know I've done a small, like a little tutorial for my Yim Girl Jean Steelers. I've talked about how I do the color for my t um, other Tyranids, the yellow and green. Uh, but if somebody would like to see a more in-depth um, look at that, I will definitely put that together. I'm planning on doing a video on the conversion work that I do for my, my set Explorers because it's really hard to get a really convincing conversion out of them without um, buying something uh, and usually that's going to be like 40 bucks or more depending on where you buy it from and mine I mean after you get that that piece from the battle from a or uh, yeah battle from a crag then it's I don't know probably 10 cents of material slapped together and maybe a few cents of paint slapped onto it and you know so it's way more economic <clears throat> all right uh, if you guys would please click the like button, subscribe, that'd be great. Also, we just started a new uh, blog. It's uh, warpsonsofblogspot.com. And uh, keep your eyes open for, for some more videos. I'm actually working on a big piece of terrain right now. And I'm going to cover that when it's done. If you guys want to see terrain building, let me know too.